What's up miners, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to mine XRP with the Unminable app and also some other miner programs for the CPU and GPU that will deliver better performance for you. If you are not familiar with uh, Ripple XRP, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Um, if you go to coingecko.com, you will see that the, um, the coin is in the ranking as number 8 and the price of 0 0.8. The first thing that you need um, for this coin is to get a wallet so that you can uh, receive some funds. You will get a public wallet address from, from the wallet. And next, you have to open up your Windows security. And you're going to be placing an exclusion on a folder, so click Virus and Threat Protection. Go to Manage Settings, scroll down, Exclusions, add an exclusion folder. In my case, under the desktop, I have one folder named Exclusion, so place the exclusion there. This will allow you to download all the files that are needed without them being flagged as malware, even though they are not. The next step is to go to onminable.com and then select Download. Download the file on the left, which is the MFI version, save it inside the folder and in Chrome press Ctrl J so you can keep the dangerous file, keep anyway and show in folder. We are going to get this file and we are going to extract here. We get the Unminable Miner app, so we right click it, then run as administrator. Once the program loads, you are going to click uh, continue. Then if you have a GPU, a graphics card with at least four gigabytes of memory, you select graphics card. Otherwise, select CPU, click next. We are going to select XRP from the list. We are going to enter our address for the coin. And we have this code uh, E4XD-WMZL. This will allow us to drop the pool fee from 1% to 0.75% click save and then from here we are going to be uh, mining in just a matter of seconds the hash rate is going to appear on the bottom uh, left corner if you click on the settings just double check that uh, you have the high intensity the CP the um, name of the worker as a CPU CPU worker whatever you choose and your code uh, you can save and restart and as you can see, this confirms and mining at a speed of 1,200, 1,300 hashes per second. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to show you another way. So this is the other way of mining and using directly the programs uh, and not using the Ominable app. In this case, I use XMRIG to mine with the CPU and GMiner to mine only with the GPU. If you double click, um, I made two modifications to this program. One is um, dropping the donation fee to XMRIC, so now it's 0%. And also uh, this file, you right click it and run as administrator, and it will request all the details that you need. It's pre configured, so just have to follow it and type the coin XRP, enter the address, allocation, then a name for the worker. Wait a few seconds, enter, and the program starts running. We are going to leave it like this for a while. We can see it's connecting to Unminable, um, so it's starting to, to mine. This confirms that. Now let's do the demonstration with the GMiner. I have this file, I right click it, run as administrator, and it will also ask for all the details it needs. So again, XRP, address, location, if your card is 4 GB, ETC hash. If your card has more than 4 GB of memory, ET hash. Now, this um, confirms the um, program is uh, loading and it's connecting to the unminable pool. In this case, with a 1 GB card, it's not possible to mine, so it's not going to, to do anything. But in your case, you will see the connection to the pool and you will see uh, the, um, the card that starts building the DAG. Okay? And once you see that, uh, it's confirmed that you are mining. Now, coming back to XMRIG again, if you press the letter H, you can see the hash rate and the speed. Okay? So this is more than what I had before. Um, this is all there is to it. I'm available for helping you. Um, there is a link uh, to Telegram in the description of the video. Uh, send me any questions that you have, uh, any help uh, with the setup or optimizations. I'm happy to help. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.